Hey friends, today I'm going to ask you a vital question. But before I get to the question, if this is your first time here, I just want to personally welcome you to the Homegrown Ministries YouTube channel. I'm DJ, and on this channel I strive to provide you with biblical wisdom and encouragement to strengthen your walk of faith. This video series is dedicated to my grandfather, who passed away in January of 2019. I've been going through his Bible, just talking about the different verses that he pointed out, whether through a sticky note or a highlight. And one of the things you should know about my grandfather, if you didn't get a chance to meet him personally, is that he was a Christian through and through in regards to his personality and his actions and his demeanor. He was somebody who was quick to listen, who was slow to speak and slow to get angry. And we should all strive to be that way. And he strove to be that way because of his Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus calls all of us Christians to be people who are quick to listen, who are slow to speak and slow to get angry. And because of his demeanor, I know that he would have answered today's question correctly. But before we talk about the question, let's look first at the verses for today. So today's verses come from John chapter 1, and they are verses 34 and 49. So here is his sticky note with his handwriting that shows today's verses. So John chapter 1, verse 34, is John the Baptist speaking. And this is John the Baptist talking about Jesus. And he says in verse 34, I have seen and I testify that this is the Son of God. And then verse 49 is the disciple Nathanael speaking. And he says, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. So today's question that is vitally important is what these people are responding to. And the question is, who do you say Jesus is? John the Baptist and Nathaniel had it right. And my grandfather had it right. And they're all telling you that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Through his death and resurrection, you and I can be redeemed with God. You can be forgiven of your sins, and you can have everlasting life through that. But you have to answer the question correctly. It's the only question in life that has an answer that matters. People ask you all day long, probably, <laughs> about what your opinion is on different things. But the only question that has an answer that matters is the question that says, who do you say Jesus is? Because it will have eternal consequences, and there's only one right answer. So I want you to know today that Jesus is the Messiah. And he offers you the free gift of forgiveness of sins, of everlasting life, and of redemption with God. He offers that to you for free. All you have to do is accept it. You can refuse. That's the beauty of free will. And people throughout all of history have been refusing. But don't be one of those people. Understand that this question is being asked of you right now, and you must answer correctly. It is vitally, vitally important. I want you to know that my grandfather had a hard life. But if you were to ask him when he was alive what got him through, he would have said that it was his faith that got him through. The good times, the bad times, the hard times. It was because he knew that this life was not all that there was. And guys, I'm reiterating that today too. This life is not it. We have an eternity to look forward to. But to get there, you have to answer this question correctly. So I ask again, who do you say Jesus is? Christian friends, I hope you enjoyed this message. Please continue to be the salt of the earth, be the light to the world, and encourage somebody else today because the world desperately, desperately needs it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.